What's up guys, Fortune Voyager and Karma here with Jackman Games. Uh, going into the final round of the Birmingham uh, Star Wars Destiny Regional. On the left we've got Ryan, who we saw in the last video go up against Jeff with Vader Bazine. And on the right we've got Daniel, who we saw in the top 8 uh, with Vader Greedo. So we've got both versions of Greater here. Greater. We've got both versions of Greedo here. <laughs> You know, that's not even right. We've got both versions of Vader here. There we go. See, I did so good on the intro, and then I had to ruin it right there. Uh, at least that okay. was not part. Of, I'm not kind of counting that part of the intro anymore. Yeah, right. I got the intro right, <laughs> yes. so now the professionalism's over. Yes, it's gone so, now. So <laughs> uh, we've got both versions of... Gre oh, Jesus Christ. We've got both versions of Vader here, and we get to see which one's better. Oh, uh, so okay. we've still got the clock and the top four listed on there from uh, the last round. That's just... I assume we'll get fixed through the video. This was all through a live stream from the Birmingham uh, event. So we kind of talked last round about the pros and cons of running Bazine over Greedo. Uh, if you had to run either one of the decks, which would, would you run and why? Um, they're both super similar, but I kind of like the idea of playing Bazine just because it's not seen as much. And I don't always like to do my stuff exactly like everybody else. Even if I were to play Vader Greedo, I probably wouldn't play it the same way as everybody else does. Right. I would probably play a slower version. Makes sense. Um, because you're you, so. Yeah, you know. Uh, the very first version of Gre Greater. Jesus, I don't even know. I don't know what Greater Greedo is. is greater. I don't know what Greedo Greedo is. is greater. I don't know why I keep trying to call it Greedo. <laughs> but anyways, the very first version of Vader that I played was uh, Vader Jawa, which was focused more on being able to either go full aggro or control. Yeah. So that might be something that's more up your alley, but I mean, there's a thousand in. different ways to play Vader. Yeah. It doesn't matter because in the end, Vader's Vader and he just punches you in the face. Yeah, I think like once a version comes out and people see it and that's what they, and they like it and they play it and it works and that's what everybody kind of sticks with. So like everybody's version is like, here's Greedo, here's a uh, price of failure, here's friends in high. Like it's all the exact same. Like there's usually like a three to six card difference between yeah. decks, but the majority of it is indeed yes, quite yeah. the same. So it plays almost the same way. Like I mean, clearly keeping Vader Saber in there is definitely something I would consider. Um, honestly, I mean I know Vader's fist is a super big thing in the deck and it makes a huge difference, but I'm greedy with my money sometimes and I would like to have it for other things. Like maybe more upgrades on Vader or well, most of the paying time, for my damage. The thing, the thing with that is most of the time you aren't paying for Fist. You're do using other ways to get it out, like Friends in High or Delve or ways like that. Yeah, I mean there are, but a lot of times the people I see play it end up spending that money on it. Anyways, the game has started. Yes. Uh, it looks like we ended up with Dan's Battlefield Round 1, which gave uh, oh, Ryan's hey. Vader two shields. Right into the top. Uh, we have power action to get three resources on Dan's side, then we truce to give Dan four, Ryan three, Ryan played the Vader Saber, Dan played the Dark Saber, Bazine rolled out into a Disrupt, Dan's Vader rolled out into a one damage on the Dark Saber, a two resource, and a two damage, I didn't know the doubted Dark the wound. Dark Saber into the resources, so Dan gets uh, three resources from it. Jesus Christ, this is fast. Uh, Vader resolves for another two resources, so he's probably got Vader's fist in his hand. Ooh. Ryan rolls Vader's oh, dice a for three. a crap ton of damage. Good lord. And we're finally caught up, guys. I've got a second to breathe. Jesus. And also the other thing, that these uh, decks make money, and I could enter the crosshair of the crap out of somebody else's Vader. That's very true. <laughs> and uh, take an ambush action. So it looks like that t damage side is Dan's, yes. which means Ryan's has... A I know one two, of those a is three, a three and probably a plus four. Yeah, because the other the other one rolled clearly into camera sight. So there's that Vader's fist. Usually, if you can get Vader's fist turn one, you win. We'll Unless see the other person works. also gets Vader's fist turn one. I mean, you're not wrong. We do see a well battle. connected, so Dan gets to draw a card. Ryan gets a resource. This is definitely a battle. It's fast paced. No time to talk. I'm running out of breath. <laughs> <laughs> what did the Vader's fist even roll in on? Is that shields? Uh, it looks like shields. I mean, I would probably consider running a disabled for other people's uh, Vader's fist to shut it off for one activation. Yeah, disabled's definitely good. I uh, well, I just didn't make the cut in my deck, but yeah. I consider placing it in that for that very same reason. It stops shadow casters. It stops fists. It stops fat vehicle. Doesn't decks. EMP grenade blow up just supports or just just vehicles? Oh. EMP grenades the, isn't that good. I know, right? That's a AT. ATSC that blows up. All right, so support. we got looks like seven damage across to Dan's, or is it nine? Yeah, it looks like we've got nine damage across to Dan's Vader That's with a one action. Hit. Uh, Greedo rolls out hey. to the two damage. 
But it definitely doesn't compare to hitting nine. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong, but <laughs> it looks like. So Ryan's claiming. Uh, Ryan claims. I don't think the damage was done from Greedo. I'm not sure what happened with that. Uh, but anyways, Vader's fist rolls out, gets three damage, uh, rolls out again, gets some indirect. Dan's gonna try and decide whether he wants to yeah, re-roll it. Uh, he and gets the three, three for, one. for one, and he doesn't have the resources for it, so we'll probably re-roll again. At odds, gets discarded to get the disrupt. Mm. He's just not getting what he needs here. It's got a one in three chance of rolling a damage side that he can resolve. So now he's down to some uh, some cards that he probably wants to keep at this point. Yeah, like he's trying not to lose one of the activations on it, but... Yeah. It looks like he goes ahead and takes the loss and moves into the next round. So that was a huge round for Ryan. A uh, massive amount of damage came down. He didn't take a ton in return. And Vader's Fist didn't even get its full use out of the turn one. You know what it is? Um, he had shields there on his they're on Dan's battlefield. He got right. shields from rolling it in on the Vader's Fist. So he blocked two of the damage from Greedo. Okay. That had to be what he did. The only thing I can explain... <laughs> yeah, just I saw like Dan moved via Greedo's yeah. die, and then there was still the same amount of damage. Amount of damage, so I don't know. Maybe it got removed, and I just didn't see it. Maybe who knows? Anyways, it we're way past it now. Action. So lots of quick back and forth. It is Vader versus Vader, and this was close to like eleven at night, so and they were probably both ready to go. Just rolled a four for one, a two, and like either another two or three. So he's just rolling super hot. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's all Vader has to do sometimes. Oh man, that's so gross. Oof. We do get a force illusion down, which he needs. Yeah, can block the four. But I mean, he's got two shields, which is nice. So you can, the two on the Vader saber, block it with the shields, and then only take potentially like three. But it's still gonna put him at twelve. All right, so he does indeed block the four with the force illusion, getting rid of CQA, rise again, uh, at odds, and friends, friends and high. high, and then the rest of the damage goes through, hitting shields and taking Vader from nine damage to. 10, 11, and uh, he actioned on the Vader Saber to roll into a 4 for 1. So no resources currently, but he does still have Bazine, which can potentially roll into a resource. Mm -hmm. Or maybe a truce in his hand, you never know. And he hasn't feed yet either. Alright, so Dan's going to finally roll his Vader in. He gets the resources on the dark saber as well as shields and a couple damage from his Vader die. Uh, it looks like we get the power action for the resource over on Ryan, and we get a uh, hidden motive on Vader's die for a blank, which is almost as good as power or having to make him use a power action. You still have to pitch your reroll. Right, uh, Bazine does roll into the disrupt, which is may or may not be what he was looking for. It does keep Vader's fist from being able to resolve a lot of its sides. So it's not too bad, although Dan does have the Dark Saber for three resources if he wanted it. Mm -hmm. I mean, currently he's behind on damage, so it almost wouldn't be. Because, I mean, you could easily roll in the focus side, too, and then fix your dice. I mean, you're not wrong, uh, but... It's not guaranteed, but... If he can get, like, a 4 for 1, 4 for 1, 4 for 1 on Oof. the Vader's Fist, then, you know, he can catch back up on damage real quick. 12 damage and just would be one health enough to kill Vader. <laughs> mm. Alright, so Greedo rolls in Oof. like a hero rolling that blank. Uh, Vader's die does get rerolled into some base damage. It looks like either the two or the three. And now Dan has to make a choice. Does he have any more mitigation in his hand? Does he discard to reroll? Tune in next week on Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> Because he's at 9, 10, 11 right now. I mean, we know it's not the 4, so it won't kill him. But it's definitely not damage he's looking forward to taking. Two, so two shields. shields. Puts him even further behind in the damage race, but it does potentially block all or all but one of that damage. Looks like it was the 3, so he takes an extra 1. Putting him at 12. Alright, Fist rolls out. Gets the disrupt. 
Not what you want. Not at all what you want right now. Speaking of disrupt. Ugh. I mean, Ryan's basically done with his turn at this point. He's just there hanging out. Dan's got uh, quite a lot more to go. He has a grappling bow in his dick. He I does, like yeah. I like it. Hit them for damage, remove their die. Bye. <laughs> Bye. It's built-in mitigation. It's it is, great. yeah. All right, so it looks like that's a power action on Vader's fist to uh, change it to some indirect. Maybe. I can't quite make it out from here. Actually, it might be shields. It might be. Yeah, it is. Yeah, looks like it is. It's a uh, two shield side, so that gives Vader a few more bits of health. Now he power actions it. And oh, there gets you go. The, indirect. Got the indirect. He's going to probably swap it over to the three for free. Mm -hmm. And resolve it. So he's slowly but surely getting caught up on the damage race. And the invader still has damage on his die. I would reroll the other two. I'd probably go ahead and resolve Vader first, but... I mean, if he claimed, I mean... I don't think he... I don't know if he's claimed or not. That is the bad part about not having the audio. There's the claim, though, so... Dan's safe to reroll and do whatever he wants. He does have, it looks like, the one damage on the Darksaber, which is effectively three. Yeah, is it the three. focus? Is it the focus? That's focus. Well, so it's it's not quite what he wants. Yeah, but he's got the, the indirect on Greedo. Well, if he's got the three focus, if that's not the three damage on Vader, he can turn it to there and the two range damage, which is five damage that he could pump into Ryan's Vader. So it must be three. Yep. It was the three. So yeah, using the focus there would have been a bad idea. So he yep. discards three roll, and he gets the resources and the one damage. But I mean, if he gets three now, gets the two, he could easily maybe draw into a rise again. Right. He could definitely rise again. And then play the, uh, he might have a rise again in his hand. He has a, he pitched the Vader Saber to reroll. So he might have one. He may draw into one. Who, Dan? He yes. didn't have any hand. He just drew five. Uh, okay. Ryan does roll out Vader first action for two blanks Ooh. and two resources. That's definitely something you want to see when you're behind on the damage train. <laughs> right. Uh, Force Illusion is also something that you want to see when you're behind. Yeah, so he definitely didn't draw into Rise again because he had the money to pay for it. That or he wanted to save the resources for potential dice resolves. Very true. Uh, Vader rolls into, it looks like, the 3 and the plus 4, or the blank. So that 3 and the plus 4 gets hit by the Force Illusion. If he decides to do that, he could just straight up kill Greedo. But, but I doubt it. I mean, you're that close to... I mean, he would block all the damage, but... All right, so Dark Saber looks like it hits the shields. Two resources, two resources. And hit the discards on the Dark discards. Saber. Discards. Hey, discards are pretty good. Three discard gets yeah. rid of almost all the cards in Ryan's hand right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, there we so go. Look at that. Greedo's dead. And he got the hey. two damage on Greedo. Hey. Look at Greedo. So now they're basically caught nice. up on damage. Very nice. Uh, he did pay the one to. Well, besides the fact that he has a dead character now, Bazine is still healthy. Uh, it looks like he paid the one to roll Vader's die back out, but I don't think he did the damage from Vader's saber there. Uh, he does use the discard nice. on Dark Saber, leaving Ryan with just one card, which is really all that he needs to reroll that Vader blank. So he gets another three damage down. Probably go ahead and block it with Force Illusion here. So he takes the damage, putting Vader at two health. Because he only has one card to reroll. If he can, if it hits, well, he has Steed, so he can still get the power action. Thing. Don't roll it in power action. Get what you need. Kill Vader. All right, Dan. What are we doing here? Lots of thinking going down. I mean, power action and forcing him to try to remove it if he has one removal in his hand. Right. Well, he didn't need to power action it. Well. I mean, kind of, because the yes. four indirect is just going to go into Bazine. Yep. Uh, Bazine rolls in for Disrupt, which is like a drop of water in a pond right now. <laughs> we get a Friends and high. high. Let's see what he gets. Rise again, maybe? Vibro Knife, Price of, Price of Failure, and Fear and Dead Men. Yep, so definitely. Vibro Knife comes down. Maybe he has another Friends and High in his hand. <laughs> Wouldn't that be something? It hit would that definitely freaking, be something. Hit that rise again. So Ryan has one card left. He looks like he's passing. So it's probably mitigation. 
Uh, Dan does discard to reroll all of his dice on the board for a blank. Uh, three, three damage on Vader's uh, fist and some damage on Vader. Oh, and and it looks like Ryan had a delve. He discards it for the disrupt and the three damage. So you kind of and then Vader in. dies. Nice. Three, six, nine, to eleven. Yeah, so I think Dan's got this at this point. His Vader's only at eleven damage, and he's got Force Illusion. All that uh, Bazine can do is one damage a turn, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, Ryan would have to get Vader's fist down, and he only has a single resource currently. And then that would take multiple actions to finally wipe out Dan's Vader. So mm -hmm. even though he's at three, six, nine, twelve, thirteen damage. Right. He only needs two. But he's got Force <laughs> Illusion, so. Yeah, this is true. All right, so we see another discard to reroll for a blank. Another he discard to reroll for some resources. Four damage to take Bazine off the table. So it looks like we get another two damage down, another three damage down on Bazine, and then two resources from Dan. So that puts her at, what, one health? Yep. And we move on to the next round. So Dan's literally a power action away on the fist from winning, assuming that Ryan doesn't draw into any mitigation. Mm -hmm. He goes ahead and gets Bazine out there, gets the discard. Nope, shields. Shields. Staying alive. <laughs> and Dan was just check, taking stock of his deck there to see how much he can block from Force Illusion in case it comes up. And I would just roll out Vader. Or, the, or either uh, just power, power action. action. Yeah, just power yeah. action. There's the rise again just to kind of solidify the lead that he has. Again, uh, this is a... Finals of a tournament yeah, game, he's so just, I mean, he's making extra sure that everything he's not gonna that you randomly. can do, even when you know that you can win with a single action, do everything yeah. that you can, like you would normally, just to make sure nothing backfires on you. Yeah, because you might take advantage of the situation, and then he might have something like double cross, where you roll out Vader's die, and then he resolves them against you. You never yeah. know. Yeah. Well, he just he did what he needed to. Do. Well, there you go. That's the end of round one. That was a lot of really quick action. Uh, took probably about seventeen minutes from setup to now, and. That was that was fun, but we saw exactly what I've been talking about in Vader. Um, Dan's Vader was behind for like the first half of that. Mm -hmm. One good roll in with a lot of mitigation on Ryan's that turn, um, let that turn go even, and then eventually turn around because of the better board state. Yep, that Vader's fist definitely made a difference. Vader's fist always makes a difference. Oh. man. All right, guys. So we're about to go into round two of the finals of the Birmingham Destiny Regionals. Who do you think has the better chance? We just saw Greedo win. Do you think that was a <laughs> fluke, or do you think we're going to see it happen again? I don't know. I mean, it was super one way to start with, and then it goes completely the other way. I just feel like it's all in the rolls, and then if you draw into absolutely no way to stop their damage, it hurts you. So, like, where Dan wasn't able to stop that damage that was just flying at him, he smacked him for, like, nine. Right. So, I mean, that's probably something I would look into uh, when I'm doing my mulligan is trying to get at least one piece of mitigation, maybe two, mm -hmm. to try to keep myself, like, from getting shot down early in the game. That's very understandable. Uh, we are playing by match rules, of course, so that means that Ryan gets to choose whose battlefield they go to. Uh, in this situation, most definitely going to take his own, give the two shields to Dan, because Vader don't care about two health. <laughs> <laughs> and he gets him the power action to play whatever he wants turn one. Yeah, I think the big difference, too, is um, Ryan plays troops in his deck. So he gets the immediate access and use of his um, his resources. Right. Yeah, there was a uh, game where I power actioned and then double truced Innovator's Fist turn one. That's just ridiculous. <laughs> Yeah, I think that extra activation when you play Vader's Fist is the, the busted part of it. It really is. <laughs> like, it swings the game so quickly. So we do indeed <laughs> see the two shields go over to Dan with Ryan's Battlefield being selected. And the power action to get three resources from the start. So definitely calling for a Vader Saber. Yeah, I definitely think either Vader Saber or Maul Saber, one of the two. I don't, I'm not sure what all upgrades he has, but the Vader Saber is definitely, in my opinion, the best upgrade to get down turn one outside of potentially Vader's Fist. Yeah. Okay, uh, he doubted that. He has to resolve it. I'm not understanding why it's still in the pool. Because he doubted the, the die to hit the resources. It should be resolving the two. Yeah, just uh, the end of a long day of play happens. Misplace. 
Uh, it's a Vader die. That could be a big misplay. <laughs> I mean, it can be, yeah. Just like earlier where uh, he drew a card into four damage on Lance. It happens. But it looks like that okay, was now they're Okay, the judge called on it then. I was about to say, you have to resolve it. It's not removed, it's resolved. So yeah. it doesn't get to roll back in. Now I think that's what he was asking. Or that might have action. been he was sitting there waiting, asking. Oh, okay. That could have been it. Yeah, because yeah. it resolves it. It's either resolve or remove, so you don't get to power action. Which technically, you don't have to resolve, so you can remove it and then power action yeah. to roll it back in. This is true. Hey, look at that Vader hey, Saber. Hey, look at that Vader Saber. Who knew? Who knew a Vader playing Vader Saber turn one? Greedo right. rolls in for a blink. Bazine oh, rolls in for a blink. Hey, that's what them support characters do. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Dan's turn is pretty much done, and Ryan's Vader's yet to roll in. Ooh. Dan does get his turn one Force Illusion, though, so he's set to go. Uh, Ryan's Vader rolls in for two, Res two resources, like a blank. Nope, that's actually shields, a blank, and looks like a two or a three on the Vader. There we go. That's why you're here, because you have better eyes than I do. <laughs> and I'm the one wearing glasses. Yep. 2020, I have vision my ass. <laughs> have Kevin chasing you down. Listen, Kevin can, <laughs> Kevin won't even watch this. <laughs> That's right, I'm calling you out, Kevin. Leave a comment down below if you watch this. You know I'm going to tell him to watch it now, right? <laughs> you don't ruin it. <laughs> I want to see if he catches it. Anyway, Greedo rolls into the two indirect. Hit uh, motive. motive on the shields to blank. So he was, just trying he was to get wanting out of the to pool. get rid of it so that yeah. he couldn't roll into the other Vader die when it resolved. Yep. Cause it Although he couldn't anyway because he didn't have a resource. But yeah. He I don't got know why one, he though. did that then. I guess because of the modifiers, it was easier to try to get it off the field. Or maybe he just really didn't want him to have shields. I mean, neither one's true. It's very true. It's still early, so. All right, so we're all dry now. Excuse me, it is getting late. Right. The best uh, video recordings are always late at night. <laughs> There's a joke there, but I'll just let it slide. Uh, we should. get a discard to reroll all three of Ryan's dice. And it looks like we got a four for one, a discard, and the, a single The damage. base side. Yeah, that base side on the Vader Saber. One or two? It's just a one. Oh, okay. I think it's a one plus two plus three plus four. Gotcha. And the two indirect from Greedo goes down to the Bazine. So mm -hmm. just the two support characters warring out over there. Yeah, they're just smacking each other around. Dark Ritual gets discarded for a blank and two shields. Oof. And Dan claims. We see the damage go down onto Vader. That one damage. And the round resets after taking the shields probably. What happens? Uh, some communication about the die being resolved. Alright, looks like we're good to go, so he's going to take the two shields and move on to the next round. Alright, guys. Sorry for the dead air. Kind of running out of things to say when you cast so many Vader games. They're all kind of the <laughs> right. same. Right. They all play so similar. It's, um, oh, he's got five resources there. Oh, he's got five resources. Here comes the Vader's fist or rise again or, <laughs> you know. Or here's some damage. And here's, here's a whole lot damage, of damage. <laughs> Ryan rolls out to the four for one, the plus two and the shields. Yeah, now the Vaders are just one up each other on damage. Right. That's what uh, it does motive. look like hidden motive Everywhere. to remove the Vader saber. Every time Dan's just like, it's hey. always hidden motive. I mean, he's got like six in there, I think, because I see it constantly being played. Excuse me. Uh, Fear and Dead Man gets used. No, discarded. Discarded. What discarded it? Oh, I think he's blocking. Or I okay, think so a it did get used, on. and he's deciding whether or not he wants to use Force Illusion to block the Vader damage. Yeah, he went ahead and did the three to Greedo. Looks like, or four? No, the four for one. Yeah. I'm confused. How do you <laughs> resolve the Vader saber too? Then I don't understand. What do you mean? Did you resolve that too? No. Oh, okay. I was about to say. 
I don't believe so. That glitch coming in the middle of that didn't help. Yeah, right. <laughs> it glitches right at a moment where we need right not at, to do that. Thank you, video. Anyways, <laughs> Bazine rolls out to the resource. And Dan has some damage showing. It looks like he's not going to resolve it. He's going to roll in Greedo, which means that he's probably going to look to discard to reroll. Not a bad choice considering he has three cards in his hand and a crap ton of money. Uh, he does disrupt the resource over on Dan's side, potentially removing any mit cost mitigation that he might have, like overconfidence or... You mean on uh, Ryan's side or... Ryan, yes. Yeah. I was about to say, Dan has a lot of money. He does. The one disrupt would just be a drop in the ocean at this point. Mm -hmm. uh, Vader Saber gets discarded. Uh, mm. Mm, does he discard to reroll zero? I'm, I'm feeling like rise again. It looks like he discarded to reroll zero, so that's a rise again play coming. Yep. Yep, there it is. Why wouldn't he just go ahead and resolve his die? Why is he leaving him out there for so long? Uh, I'm honestly not sure. I don't even know if Ryan has any cards in hand still. I mean, if Ryan doesn't have any cards in hand, then it's whatever, but I don't know. It's not like Rise Again gives you the yeah, die I mean, to resolve. No, I mean, I guess because he didn't have anything to stop him, so he wasn't too worried about it. Right. So the Vader's damage comes down, gets rid of all of Ryan's shields, and puts an extra two, one damage down. Yeah, so... Still not doing too bad when it comes to the damage department. Um, yep, and again, Dan was behind until right then, but the Rise Again play puts him back in the lead. Uh, technically, he's behind because of the total damage due to Gr on Greedo, but as we've all seen, yeah. no one cares about no. Greedo. Or Bazine. So, or Bazine. <laughs> Neither of them are cared about. They're just there to be smacked around. All right, so Vader rolls in, gets the four for one, the one damage, and the two shields. And it looks like looks we like get a delve come down for damage on to Bazine to play Vader's Fist. Nice. Saves you two resources. Yep. And it rolls into the, looks like, three indirect or the two shields. I'm not sure which. I think that's the shields. Hard to tell. Hard I to mean, tell. I mean, you get three activations. I wouldn't be upset about taking a couple of shields and doing two more activations. He does get a CQA off, so Ryan loses two cards on Oof. his hand, which was a dark saber, and it looked like the boa. Yeah, but it was the shields. All right, the shields come down on Vader. I kind of wanted to see him play the grappling bow. <laughs> I want to see something played on Vader other than his saber. <laughs> yeah, his saber and dark saber and force speed and, and, and force illusion and Vader's fist. I Vader's wanted, fist. I want something different to happen <laughs> other than the same. Which, to be fair, I think I was the only person running freaking force speed in this Vader deck. I think so. I Nobody else has played a single force speed. Video, yeah. yeah, nobody else has. So look at you being different. That's right. Playing that's that zero why I was cost in upgrade. <laughs> yeah, you were actually playing your slightly slower by having to take your action to play those out first. Mm -hmm. But all right, uh, we get a power action into the three ranged, which will put Dan's Vader into four damage. Look at him sharing his power action tokens. So well, I mean, nice. That's a damage token, not a power action token, but it works. No, on the Vader's fist, that was a power action. Oh, token. I was looking at the one on the feed. Nope. You you right. You're right. That's a, yeah. And Greedo rolls in. It's gone from a resource to a damage token as the thief power action. Right. <laughs> All right, so Dan is definitely ahead here. He's got plenty of damage showing. Uh, doesn't have mm. the resources for it, but he's ahead in the damage on board currently. If only he ran truce. If only Bam. he ran truce. But get, I guess another Rita that he could be dangerous. He gets a friends and high and has, now has to choose whether or not he kills Greedo off with Price of Failure or gains the Vibros uh, life. Mm. I don't know, man. He's got three cards left in hand. I'd just kill Greedo off. He's in a good spot. He's only got four damage and a four solution. I'd try it. You've got three chances to discard and reroll that one Vader. There it goes. Yep. All right. And he just, it was in the pool already. so Yeah, so nothing happens from Greedo die because there's nothing to disrupt. And now Bazine rolls into the resource. Watch this. Nope. To shields. the shields. It Which? is uh, shields for a cost, though, I believe. So. Ooh. Yeah, right? Ugh. Uh, Dan discards what looks like a Darksaber to reroll both of Vader's die into a bunch of resources. That's not bad. He can get all the resources that he needs to Ooh. roll Vader back out. Uh, four for four. I thought Ryan had already rolled his three. Vader in, but I guess not. I mean, you might as well go ahead and resolve them while you can and then reroll again. Yep. No point in wasting a card on it when you get another activation. 100%. And uh, we're probably going to see the four blocked by four solution here. Uh, it looks like Ryan only resolved the one base damage side on 
Vader and left the other ones out there because it doesn't have the resource. That makes mm-hmm. sense. But he can resolve that one. We have, but once again, not having another resource. Yep. Ooh. So now he's got his three dice showing pay sides <laughs> currently. And he doesn't have anything in hand. I don't think so. Oof. Nope, he does. He's got it right there. There we go. And he All has right. one card, and it was a delve. So unfortunately, it looks like his Vader's been taken down to one health by hey. the extra roll in by Dan's Vader. Uh, he does discard, and he gets some mm-hmm. resolvable dice yeah. this time. He got a three and one. Um, I think he got the three disrupt, and the, it's still on the. He hit the two shields for one again on Bazine though. Mm. Such a so at this spell. point, Dan, like you're so far ahead, discard those cards and go for the last single damage that you need to really win mm-hmm. the game. There it is. And he has no cards in hand. So Ryan goes ahead and resolves the damage that he can from Vader. And at this point, Force Illusion comes down to block a four damage, three damage. That's a gross one, though. Like, it is. <laughs> you just hit three of your like, upgrade slash. If reports. he wasn't about to kill his opponent's Vader, that would have been a disheartening <laughs> yeah. discard. And now it's just little old Bazine with five health remaining. Uh, it does look like and he there runs was a pretty dark big ritual, disrupt. but he got pitched earlier. Right. So. All right. So at this point, would you take the resources, or would you just go ahead and claim to go first next turn? Um, I'd probably just claim. You're, I mean, you're ahead. Right. You got your strong character still alive. So I mean, I'd probably just claim. Yeah, I, th- I think I agree with that one. Mm, he's thinking about He's thinking re-rolling. about discarding a reroll. That's only a one in three chance of getting some damage. And he gets the blink. So, yeah. I would have either claimed or taken the resources. Personally, I wouldn't have discarded a reroll, but... Yeah. That's... I mean, he I didn't probably got to so. play it, and that might have been why he didn't care as, as much about going ahead and trying. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, you're already a hit. I would have just claimed and just rolled out. Right. And just threaten to try to get lethal. Uh, let's see. Max damage he can do right now is nine. Uh, he he's rolls in Vader's for Fist one. for the four. So he's at what, six, seven, eight, and that puts him at 12. So if he has some way to mitigate that already off the bat, then I mean. If he has some way to mitigate that, then the max possible damage is five. Yep. And he's not, so. Either he doesn't have it or he's not worried about it. It's one of the two. But he rolled into... He rolled in... Ooh, Force Illusion. I was going to say it looked like he rolled in lethal, but Force Illusion stops that. Yep. And it's modified, so you lose all that damage. It, it does make him lose four to five cards, depending on what's been rolled. I think it's six. Uh, But he does get one damage through with the action and gets to roll Vader's die back out if he chooses to do it that way. I mean, I would. Just imagine an unyielding player right here. God. At least you can say you tried. I could well, argue with second place so with one, 57 people. Two, <laughs> three, four, five, six cards Look at discarded. Me. And now he pays one to deal another damage to Bazine, taking her to half health. And rolls Vader's back out, hopefully for a four for one. Nope. No damage. Got the shields. Or resources, yeah, either both. way. A die cannot be both. No, I mean, like, one is shields and one's resources. I know. I know what you mean. <laughs> I was talking about that one specific die, and you know it. Sure. We'll go with it. All right. So some damage comes through from... 3, 6, 9, 12. Vader's Fist, taking Vader to 12. Because he needs four damage, so he only needs three. And he hasn't rolled Vader's Fist. And there's the, the four Fist. for one, Oof. so unless Ryan has mitigation, the game ends right here. There's oh. the hidden motive. But he hasn't power action. He can roll back. And he All did right. get it to get it out. Ryan... But he has a whole hand. He has a whole hand. He has the power action here. One thing that will help him is if he doesn't roll damage and he rolls that in. Yeah. He does not so he roll got damage. Shields. He did get shields, though. No, why would you not roll into Vader's fist? Why? Because you have no he money? He gets the discard on Bazine. I mean, he doesn't have any money, but he still hasn't feed. Mm, I don't know, man. I think I would have rolled into Vader's fist. Vader's it, fist would be a pretty good option here. Because he would have been... I one mean, action ahead with If he had happened out. to roll into the three for free, it would have been lethal showing. Yeah. There's two fours. Oof. He's got enough to pay for one, which is all that he needs. So nope, Vader's Fist rolls out, roll out, and that's game. All right, guys. Well, yeah. that was the entire Birmingham Star Wars Destiny Regional. Vader Greedo takes it. Dan takes first place. Uh, Dan, I believe, is one of the Georgia boys, so he traveled from uh, somewhere near Atlanta to yep. come and join us here in Alabama. Super nice guy, though. 
Yeah, a great, absolutely great yeah. guy. Everyone. I played him in. Everyone, with the exception of Lake in the top <laughs> eight, was a super yeah. great guy. So. I played uh, Dan in Swiss um, in Atlanta. He's a really cool guy. Oh, yeah. Uh, but all right, guys, thank you guys for joining us. Uh, we have one more video coming up after this, which is the Your Destiny versus Jackalman Games grudge match. Uh, it should be coming up at the same time, if not a couple hours after this video, so be looking for that. And we'll see you all then.